Hey YouTube, just a little video of my van I purchased a few weeks ago. It's a 94 G20 travel van. I think Coachman made them in 94, 95 and then they switched to something else because they're really hard to find. I was lucky to get this one in uh, Florida. It's in really great shape. The purpose of the van is to travel in it for a year. It won't be this year. Um, I still have a few things I want to do here. But uh, I'll try to post some videos of my local trips I want to do this summer. And a lot of people ask me, why do I want to travel in a van? Am I crazy? Or am I going through a midlife crisis? But the truth of it is, is, there's a lot of people traveling in their vans and enjoying life. And some people are posting great videos out there on YouTube. Um, example uh, Chris Penn and uh, you know living the van life by Chad they're posting great stuff out there and uh, they're showing people that it is possible to live in their van and travel and enjoy life I don't want to live uh, I don't want to wake up at six years old and say okay I want to travel I want to do it now while I'm still in good health and uh, I mean there's a lot of reasons you can tell yourself not to go. I mean, there's job security, there's your home, friends. But, um, you know, it's not everything in life. I got a house, I got a job. Uh, the house is for sale. I sold everything I had, and this is what I want to do. So, once the house is sold, uh, there's nothing holding me here. So I bought the van, and uh, I'm getting ready. So I bought the van. Uh, this is a sofa bed it makes a bed 12 volt electric you just press the button on top here and it comes down into a van ah, a van yeah a bed excuse my uh my french i am french uh my accent is not the, the best in the world but uh so oh here we go all right so this is a ceramic top stove sink i got a bumblebee in here uh, microwave and 12 volt fridge now the only downside about this uh, I got an air conditioning on top here the only downside about this van is everything has to be plugged into current to make it work except for the fridge that is uh, plugged on my auxiliary battery and of course the the sink that is uh, 12 volt also but the microwave air conditioning and stove has to be plugged in so I bought myself a little propane stove uh, in case I'm stuck somewhere and I want to have something to eat. Uh, I'll cook on that. And I do have an inverter for my microwave and I installed a solar panel on top to uh, charge my battery. Now for storage, uh, it could be better. I mean there's, there's a good amount of storage but compared to a Westphalia, uh, Westphalia has a great design. I mean, for storage, it's unreal. But uh, this one's not too bad. You got a, you got a TV up there and a DVD player. And one thing about this van here that it's pretty rare in a small van like this is it does have a built-in toilet with running water. And underneath the um, the bed here, I got my five gallon tank that uh, that comes with uh, comes with the van. It's all factory too. So I might I might build not this year, but I will need a lot of storage for supplies when I do leave. So I was thinking of putting shelves on top here, and just building shelves across and going up, so I can put my uh, my supplies. I think it would be better. Um, I don't think I'll be using that much. I mean, I'll stop somewhere. So, but um, I think I'll be building shelves instead. So if we come around this way. Uh, I got two outlets here. And one here for city water, or you can pour your water in with a funnel goes right into the five gallon tank and on the bottom here there's um, 
there's a the 30 amp outlet that you can plug into a a camping site or a generator or such so this is my van uh, hopefully I'll be posting more videos of it or the traveling I'm gonna do but if you guys want to see great videos like I said uh, Chris Penn um, great videos out there living the van life with Chad um, I mean, you can't go wrong with uh, watching them. Gives you uh, an idea of what it is of uh, living on the road with a van and traveling. So, um, like I say, uh, I'll try to post more videos out there and uh, keep in touch. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.